So, hey everybody, welcome to my new channel. I have no idea how this audio is going to work out. The bike is a 2019 Kamigawa V4S, and as you probably already know, it's a pretty loud bike. Put some cotton over the microphone, followed some YouTuber who made an instructional video how to build the quote unquote cheapest uh, vlogging, moto vlogging setup. And since I have no idea how much time I have really, and if I want to do this, I uh, followed his advice and I stole my sister's iPhone headphones that she didn't use anymore because I gifted her iPods, a nice older brother, and uh, cut off the ear parts, just left the microphone there, I did a quick test, and uh, well, even if you cut off the, the ear knobs, the microphone still seems to work fine. So. Um, I did no prior testing with this helmet setup, I just literally fiddled in. Uh, it's 12.42 now, I'm skipping lunch, uh, even though it's a public holiday, I have to work today, so I'm not having any lunch, uh, just to see if it's possible to vlog on this thing, and if you guys can hear me. So. I guess since this is the first vlog, if all goes well, uh, what is this channel going to be about? Well, um, to be frank, I don't really know. I know that I live in an area where there are like really nice back roads and twisty roads, and there are not many moto vloggers in Europe, and I think none of them in Switzerland. Uh, that really talk about shit <laughs> and uh, take you to really nice twisty roads and I really tried to fill that gap on what I believe is a pretty cool bike I love this bike I bought it uh, two months ago pretty exactly now in falling in love with uh, Ducatis, or I fell in love with Ducatis back in 2014 when they came out with the 899. I had a little 125 back then, and uh, a Yamaha, and a uh, test road the 899, and since then I've been in love with these bikes, mm, hated the 959. Love hated the 12.99, and uh, in the end, finally ended up buying the V4S and uh, bought it more or less new. Had a uh, thousand five hundred kilometers on it, but uh, yeah, in the last two months, I've been I put three, I think three and a half k on it, and sorry, I'm not going to be talking in miles. I think it's 2,000 miles, is it? Yeah, around about 2,000 miles. Uh, but we're in Europe, so you guys got to deal with kilometers and shit. Um, so yeah, I, I, I still love this bike every day, every time I turn it on. The look, the feel, the smell. It's in Europe the uh, actually the loudest little bike, if I'm not mistaken. It has 107 dB with a stock exhaust, and as you guys can see by the mirrors that are on my bike. Yep, it's still stock. Um, just because I really don't know how long I'm going to keep it. I travel a lot and uh, due to COVID I was kind of stuck in Switzerland. So uh, I figured, hey, in that case, you know, why not get a bike? Uh, and uh, fulfill your dream 
that you've had since such a long time. And so this thing has kind of become my daily. I've, uh, I ride it to work, I ride it in the rain, I ride it if necessary in the city, which all the rumors are kind of true. Uh, this bike in the city is a pain. Um, it's absolutely doable, like don't get me wrong. I'm wearing a full leather uh, equipment. I always wear full leathers on this bike. I don't think it's smart uh, to have a 200 plus horsepower bike and uh, not wear full equipment. Um, happy to argue with you on that one. Uh, and so yeah, uh, to be frank, with a decent leather equipment, it's not that hot. Uh, although Switzerland has been that hot today, let me see, see, we're still 19 degrees. No idea. No idea whether it was in Fahrenheit, like 75? I don't know. 75, 80? Maybe. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Um, it gets hot, for sure. But if you wear decent equipment, it's like uh, totally fine. So, um, I guess that's about it for the intro. We are about to leave the city, finally. Oh, maybe. As you all know, um, Switzerland is freaking expensive when it comes to fines. Uh, today is a public holiday, so I'm not going to push it uh, because it's just... Last time I took out uh, my mom on the back, I actually built the back seat on. I know it looks horrendous. A lot of you are going to hate me for that, but uh, my mom loves bikes, so I took her out. And I, uh, there was a police guy in a camo net sniping or lasering motorcycles and cars. Like in one of these meadows, he was laying there with a camo net, not here, in a different location, sniping the speed and I'm like what the fuck guys uh, so yeah they are quite creative when it comes to how to fuck you over and how to make you pay so um, especially also since I'm vlogging now I hope let's see how this sound thing goes up um, gonna take it slow, take it chill, take some roads that I've been down yesterday, but I haven't been down these roads in quite a while, uh, I think probably four or five years. Uh, as I said, I've been traveling a lot, I haven't been in Switzerland much, um, so I was out of the country 50% oh, of the time, something like that. So trying to get back into this and uh, lately even though COVID is going on our work has been pretty busy so I, I don't have the time I want to have to be on the bike to work on the bike I get to clean it every now and then but uh, yeah not really sure um, not really sure about it so as you can see, a lot of bikes are out. I don't like Jixers. Probably gonna get a lot of hate already in the first first vlog here. If everybody, if anyone watches, uh, but I'm just not a fan of GXRs. So yeah, as you can see around here, it's fucking beautiful. I'm in the region of St. Gallen and Appenzell, uh, meaning. It's like in the east of Switzerland, there are a shit ton of mountains around, uh, and uh, I mean the scenery is just absolutely fantastic, um, and now the weather is doing its part as well, not always the case, but uh, actually this year really wasn't that bad. Um, we had a lot of sunshine, and yeah, 
it was very little to complain, to be frank. So, weather's doing its part. I'm sure we're going to see a ton of, ton of motorcycles out. Um, yesterday already, I saw some really fun ones. Um, not many Ducatis out here, at least not V4s. Uh, you see one every now and then, once in a blue moon. And yeah, so there, even here in Switzerland, there are rare sight. You see some monsters. Um, I actually haven't seen the new Street Fighter out on the road in the wild, so to say, which I think uh, might very well be my next bike if I manage to stay here in the long run, or at least, you know, like 60-70% of my time. Because uh, as much as I love this bike, every now and then I have to put like 300 plus kilometers on it in a day. It's 200 miles and my god, uh, I come home and I'm quite a broken man. But, um, you know, you get used to it, but wow, I'm, I really want to go test the Street Fighter and see how, how that thing goes and feels uh, if there's less hello thank you um, if there's less pressure on the wrists and stuff like that and on the neck because wow this bike in, in that terms it is quite demanding on a, on a long road trip um, and I often you know I leave for example Fridays my workplace is uh, a good 150 kilometers away from my family's base. So I drive uh, 150k in afternoon traffic, Friday traffic, and that can be quite something. And, and then again, it's, it's, you know, obviously I don't want to go the highway. So I'm taking the... Uh Wait, now i got to concentrate. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm taking twisties, uh, nice back roads, and uh, it's tiring, man. After a rough week in the office, traffic jam, twisties, good two and a bit hour drive. It ain't easy. So, talking of heat, uh, as you can see, the bike typically runs at three bars out of two. Exceptions are if you take it out in the rain, uh, then it definitely runs at one or two bars on the highway. I don't do twisties in the rain because I'm running the Super Corsa tire and uh, yeah, not the most ideal rain tower, uh, tire. Not gonna lie about that. Uh, but then again, on, on these kind of roads, I feel like it has endless grip. This bike can do a lot more than I can do. Uh, also, full disclaimer, not a pro, not a racer. I really want to take the bike out on a racetrack when I have some time. Uh, it's going to be first track day <laughs> on the Ducati V4S. That's so going to be uh, interesting, I guess. So, um, yeah, I'm usually taking it pretty chill. I uh, try to go the speed limit more or less, no crazy overtakes, and no, uh, I don't want to go to Amtsay, guys, I want to go to Eichstätt, yeah, um, so yeah, I usually take it pretty chill, stick to the speed limit, uh, plus minus 20, I guess, every now and then on this bike, you know, go so fast, can't really do that. So this is a really nice bit coming up. Maybe I'm just going to shut up and see how the sound goes. Go a little bit faster here. But again, as you can tell, not too fast. And uh, it's with some full skiers, like, <laughs> plentiful. Also, I love, love, love the motor brake on this thing. The engine brake is just phenomenal. 
I really love it. You know, since I'm not racing, all I do is I lift the gas. I have the electronic engine brake control on uh, full highest level. Uh, fuck off, that's fine. I this was his way as well. Um, so yeah, engine brake. I usually do most of it through that. I find it super cool. Also, you know, when you hit the brakes hard, it just goes straight on your wrists, man, and it's just... Yeah, it's quite something. Alright. Uh, oh, the noise this bike makes. I fucking love it. I really do. And that's where you really can't use the quick shifter anymore. When you pull it up to high revs, kind of keep it there and you then use the quick shifter. That's a big jerk, it really doesn't like doing that, and I understand why, you know, you're not throwing the throttle anymore, you're not accelerating anymore, so, yeah, here we go, oh, lovely, huh, go the bike there, and then just, oh, it goes, man, it just goes, And look at these roads, look at the scenery. It's absolutely stunning. The grass is green, the sky is blue. Look at this. And this is not even a nice place. <laughs> I'm taking you to quite a famous place, a road called the Stoss. Um, the Stoss is a very nice Tussie road, I don't know couple of kilometers long, maybe six, seven. A lot of nice, long, sweeping turns. Pretty sure they're going to have speed traps on it today. I went up and down yesterday. I actually uploaded a video uh, on my channel. I went down, up and down. Third time down, going like very chill. Uh oh, my microphone. Oh no, microphone's still there. Um, so and as I said, I didn't ride that road for years. Uh, I think four or five years since I've ridden it. Um, so yeah, still very lovely. A lot of fun going down. And this part's almost over, but it's also, I don't know, this road is so great, it's so fluid. Like the, the rhythm of this, of this road is really nice, you know, super smooth. And I thoroughly enjoy it. Going home behind us, um, although I really wasn't pushing it hard, as I said. If you want to follow someone who like, does ship Max Wrist style, that's not me. I'm not good enough and then not rich enough to do that in Switzerland. <laughs> so, seven kilometers of twisties coming up. It is true, and here another really nice view, but as you can see, man, these are like tight, tight twisties. A couple of these corners I took them yesterday. I don't know man, one of them I completely missed. That's where my rider skill is just not not good enough. Uh, it's just so tight and then throwing the bike in, wow. Didn't really manage to do so. Look at this, I mean. Woo! Oh shit, it's 60 here. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Here, loud is out, guys. I love my, my little uh, exhaust has a glitch, so here if I go 50, boom, no exhaust sound. If I had a viewership and one of you guys has this bike, I would love to know if it's normal, because as you can hear right now, can't hear shit. Uh, 
it's like the bike is off. And then below 50, boom, sounds back on as you can hear now. And then above 55, I think, it turns back on. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. See, back on. <laughs> Maybe they did it to pass the tests here. Laws and restrictions in Europe are a lot stricter than they are in uh, the US. I don't even know if there is a limit in the US. Um, no freaking clue. Oh, these twisties are so tight. Yeah, dude, I'm not gonna pass you here. I mean, I can't see shit. Why would I pass you? Yeah, see, this is the kind of stuff I don't do. Like, uh, I try really to pass when I see what's coming. And I know that... Oh, man. Okay, no, you really want to pass. Oh, here's a view. Woohoo, and there's this pool. Uh, I don't know what they call this, this shit that they put on the road to fix. Canoeum or some shit. Woo, good bump. Uh, and that's like ice, man. If this shit was in the sun, like, wow. So I'm really trying not to hit any of those slips. Oh, I think this is one of the curves that's so tight. I'm going to take a little bit wider then. Oh my god. Yep. Basically, no chance of taking that without crossing lanes. Wow, there is this linoleum strip in the middle. I don't know if you can tell on the video. The bike just does a jump, slides a bit. I can't look at the speedometer when I'm driving out this wheel, like down to the dash. And I wonder if the traction control realizes it uh, and sets in. I'm gonna check on the video later. Tight, tight, tight. Car stay in your lane. Oh man, scoop across the road. Yeah, this road going up is kind of okay. Did it yesterday. Going down, my god, it's a pain. Ooh, almost hit a bird. Goes so fast on this bike. Fucking nice. I love it. I love power. I love speed. I like uh, next to motorcycle. I love cars. But obviously, uh, acquiring a car with this, you know, amount of power, or uh, I guess in relation to what you get, this is not a cheap bike. But I mean, tell me one. One car in the region of 30,000 US dollars that gives you this kind of uh, this kind of power and performance. Getting tighter again. Don't really know these roads. Well, it's still fun though. Definitely work. And this bike just, you know, again, as the more experienced riders among you can tell, I'm nowhere near the limit of this bike. And we're much closer to my school limits and my physical limits. <laughs> not in the best of shapes, not gonna lie. Gain a couple of kilos. And I've defined riding the B4S is my new workout. So instead of having a, I don't know, having a big lunch, I'll just take the bike out down these twisties and uh, work out. Definitely call this a workout. Woo! And now talking with you guys. Whoever, woo, woo, oh la la. Funny, didn't use the back brake. Back still got away from me. Oh, uh, it's another tight one. Take it a bit wider. Oh, full on the brakes. Still on the brakes. Ooh, bicycle, there we go. 
enjoy this. I keep saying you guys, I don't have a single subscriber. <laughs> Literally started my YouTube channel today. But, uh, I don't know, I'm a, I guess I'm a positive thinking guy, hoping that maybe someday uh, someone will watch and listen. You know, I love YouTube, I, uh, I love watching YouTube, so I kind of feel like I want to do something that I would enjoy without listening to some idiot ramble. Yeah, but I guess, to be frank, it's a lot of the shit I watch. <laughs> it's just watching someone go ahead and ramble about stuff, what happened in their lives, and so forth. Guys, please, isn't this beautiful? Come on. I can not watch my videos. You can just mute them. I guess I can upload a motor vlog version and a, just the driving. So you have only the engine sound. Again, I have no clue what this mic is going to pick up. Absolutely no freaking idea. Uh. So, we made it to Altstetten. Uh, border uh, town even further down to the east. GoPro is still running. Mike doesn't seem to be hanging out. Um, so yeah, a town even further to the east, really close to the Austrian border. And back over there is uh, Austria already. Um, pretty sure part of those mountains are already part of Austria. And um, now we are arriving at the famous Schloss, and to be frank, I really haven't decided how fast I want to go up it, because I really do believe that... Oh, fuck this, I'm not going to wait for them. Uh, um, I, I, I'm pretty scared that there's going to be like a... a uh, control by the police because uh, this is really known for a road where a lot of motorcycles go up and down especially on a public holiday especially with this kind of weather and I don't like I was working on this guess I don't know what's wrong with the helmet something's not right with the helmet cushion here uh, there's a fixed installed speed trap coming up right here on the right. I think pretty much everyone knows about that one. Yep, there you go. Speed traps to Switzerland. Second one we passed actually. Motherfuckers. Um, oh, I have a bike behind me. I have a whole group of bikes behind me. Holy shit. Sure. Big ones too. It's a super deep. But I, again, I don't know. This thing well enough. I just know the bike has enough power to pass pretty much everything everywhere. But again, I, got, I, I can't go too fast, man. I, uh, I hit 120 there, that's like... Yeah, that's my, my license gone for sure. I'll take it easy. Really, I don't want to drop this bike anytime soon. Like I said, it was my dream for six years and I don't want to drop it after just two months. I'm not kind of stupid. So, 
I hope you enjoy this beautiful, beautiful road. Again, super nice flow and really nice for bigger bikes to be frank. Not like the road before where it was like really uh, quite tight. Look at these nice wide. Ooh, bro, it can go deep. Gotta get distracted there. He's definitely winning me in the title corners. So, we're again trying not to go too fast. Oh man, but I love this road. It was fun. We were discovering it yesterday. Um, just, you know, being back on it. And it's just made for this bike. You can have the engine, like, scream super nice. Uh, the suspension, I usually like. The active suspension. Nice bike. Um, I usually like it, but sometimes in some corners it kind of tends to dip. It makes you feel a bit uncomfortable. Again, maybe it's just me being shit at this. Uh-oh. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Oil. Oil is really bad. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Super Duke sounds fucking nice though, man. Uh, he sure is trusting that they uh, took away all the oil. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick stop up here. I'm reaching the top soon. Uh, one more to see. Ah, I love it. Fucking love it. Yeah. I mean, how can you not love these curves? The sound it makes and the power, selling it like yeah, seven even. Ooh. It's insane. I mean, I went from 15 horses to this guy, and I didn't touch my 125 for four years. But I knew I only test drove all the other bikes that I mentioned in the beginning: the 899, 599, 1299. And then three times the, the or three, ti three times the B4S. Actually, what guys? Since no one's watching it, uh, I'm not gonna stop for the view. <laughs> Gotta get home. As I said, this is my lunch break, so don't have that much time. I have like an hour, and I'm pretty sure my. Uh, Fuel light is gonna show up anytime soon. Um, he's turning around, he's doing it again. Um, so I do, I do like 160k, 140 to 160k until the fuel light comes on. Uh, let's just say it's a very Italian average consumption thing. Definitely not a swaw. See? Another fucking speed trap. But I was going to speed limit. Um, not very Swiss. Like, this guy says 5 liters. 
Nah, it's more like six. And and I reset every time I fill up. So uh I, I don't know, does it give me like a long term average? I don't think it, it gives me that. Um no, this gives me the average over the past 120 kilometers. So yeah, uh, I usually say it's around here in Switzerland, 10 cents, 10 Rappen, I guess, uh, per kilometer that I drive. I uh, fuel. I try to fly, fuel it up with uh, 98 octane. And fuel is cheap right now, so I expect that to go up in the future. Oh yeah, cool dude, why don't you just stop in the middle of the road while taking the turn. Um, so not cheap, but pretty sure you don't buy this bike for fuel consumption purposes. Uh, it, man, it's a hobby. I love this thing. Yeah, it's a commuter. Um, no, it's not practical in any way. Like, I, I guess, how practical is any bike? The only practicality I see is I don't have to stand in traffic in Zurich and shit like that uh, you know so I save 10 minutes every morning because I just drive past uh, people waiting in line at the uh, people waiting in line at the uh, traffic lights in the morning rush hour traffic and people here in Switzerland get up freaking early man they uh I leave for the office around 6.30, 6, between 6 and 6.30. Oh man, there's rush hour traffic, like what the fuck? Uh, people are really zerk, cars are out, and people are getting to work. I was in, uh, in China, in Beijing before. Man, people came into the office between 9 when we were lucky and 10, 10.30. So, I don't know guys if you're interested to learn more about China when I sit on a bike and drive these twisties and my experience there. I have some fun stories. Spent more than five years over there now. And let me tell you, it's not the same as Switzerland at all. Um, still like it. Big fan of Beijing. Uh, look at all the bikes that are out. Wow. Oh, and the fan's on. Little Ducati's unhappy. Little Ducati's unhappy. Uh, this bike really needs to move, man. I asked the dealer when I bought it and I looked online. To be frank, I think the reliability of these guys is decent by now. Um, really, I, I didn't know. Don't do it. Thank you. Um, you know, the only thing the dealer said is like, dude, it's not a city bike. Uh, they had one guy who bought one. He, uh, he basically only used it in a city, so kind of my conclusion is he only used it to show off. Oh, come on. This guy's falling asleep. Um, and yeah, he said that that bike overheated, and uh, it makes sense. And, oh, nice, a Morgan. Cool. Uh, thumbs up for that. I like to give nice guys thumbs up. So yeah, uh, this bike in the city is a, a joke. I don't know why you would do that. I guess the noise is fucking great and when it, uh, oh shit, I, uh oh, I have to stop cursing. I put child friendly content, I think. Oh, can't do that on this video, I guess. I don't know if, have I been cursing a lot? Oh, man. Um, anyhow, uh, so yeah, uh, don't buy this as a city bike. As a commuter, I don't know, man. I guess if you want to do this to yourself, go ahead. I'm still doing this to myself. I'm 30. 
I think I'll never buy a bike like this again. So this is like kind of my chance doing something stupid like this. Oh my god, this guy. Um, <coughs> oh, I have an idea. Change routes, my friends. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back, go do, go do some back roads instead of following this main road. So yeah, you can commute on this. I have a big backpack in which I put my um, my laptop, and I always have rain gear with me because, like I said, I drive it in every condition. Um, definitely doable. Uh, would I tell you, oh, this is the best commuter bike ever? Uh, probably not. Uh, but it's not impossible. And it's fun, man. I, in Zurich, I have an apartment, and when I get up at like, when I go out at 5 a.m. or so, or 6 a.m., you hear the birds chirping. I'm in downtown, still hear the birds chirping though. <laughs> Can I turn on the bike? <laughs> I always feel bad for my neighbors, you know. I just, uh, poor guys. Chose the wrong neighborhood to live in, I guess. Or sucks for them that I bought this bike. Cause man, when it's cold and it starts up in the morning, it grumbles and it's in no parking garage either. So uh, it's so smooth, you know, this whole bike. And it always has power. But scary enough, you know, the first couple of days I had it, I was it was freaking me out. And still, you know, driving now I never really like twist the throttle full open. And if I do you usually see it, it all the electronics go on. Show you my settings later. They're pretty, you know. I turn them on, turn on all the safeguards. Uh, oh, nice, a Caterham. Cool. Nice car. Um, so when I turn it on, you usually see this uh, yellow light turn on as well, telling me that F. I have an animal inside my helmet. What the fuck? How did you get inside the helmet? Oh, fuck off, man. Uh, right before the twisties. Uh, sorry for that. Um, so yeah, when I usually open the throttle all the way, all the little helpers show me they just saved my life, I guess. Here's a nice right-left combination. After that, we can try that second gear, open up. We'll see. Not sure if I'm going fast enough. So here, to the left, uh, car coming, uh, I don't know, no help was needed on that one, but again it wasn't fearful, still, I don't know man, I, I'm an engineer, I semi-trust electronics, but still, Man, like going all the way, and that was not all the way. Take some balls. Yeah, see, that was all the way, and boom. The little yellow light is on. Oh, green light, green light, green light. Oh, gravel, gravel, gravel. Yeah. No, actually, no gravel. Not bad. Uh, I took a road the other day, man. I felt like in every second corner there was gravel, and so randomly too, you know? Like places where you're like, what the fuck, where does this gravel come from? <laughs> so, um, yeah. I think that's one important thing. We're on the public road here, not on a racetrack, even though <laughs> never been on a racetrack. No, but, you know, I guess I should be driving in a way that I expect shit to be on the road, drivers to do dumb shit. So I'm really, really trying to stay within my limits, capabilities, of course, you know, inching my way forward, but 
then uh, still having that feeling that, okay, I can push down a little harder to lean the bike a little more. And uh, I still had a, a decent chicken strip on this bike as well. Fucking tires, 200 mil. <laughs> Uh, it's a big tire to get rid of the chicken strip. Um, so yeah, again, sorry to disappoint, I'm not the new Max Wrist. Just a guy who's enjoying his bike, uh, doing some vlogging in English in Europe, in Switzerland, because just not many people out there doing it, and you know, English as you can tell, I've lived in the U.S. Uh, when I was very small, actually. It's like three to six years old, back in the 90s. I lived in Atlanta, and uh, so from that, I, uh, yeah, whoop, I have no idea if that's my turn, but I'm not, but fuck it. Um, so, I feel like it's underserviced. And an English motor vlog, vlogger. Oh, way too fast. Anyhow, um, English speaking motor vlogger here in Europe. I don't know. Except for all the Brits that do it, but that doesn't count. Um, so, again, some nice areas I want to do, like weekends where I go out uh, on some really nice mountains, some really nice roads. And maybe if, you know, I get some feedback from you guys, my non-existent viewership, I'll do this more often and maybe more professionally. I mean, I don't have a lot of time, so it'll be a weekend thing uh, or a two-week thing. Maybe every two weeks sounds pretty realistic. If I go back to China, <coughs> channel shut down. Um, but, you know, oh, this bike here, man, it's so smooth, I'm one-handed, just like chilling my way through the city, up and down the mountain, and it's just chill, it's just really chill. So, in a minute now, my gas light should come on. So, yeah, guys. If anyone ever watches this, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the bell icon. Ah, isn't that like the <coughs> standard stuff? Every YouTuber says, uh, again, I watch enough of them. So I believe it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you think I have a fucking annoying voice, tell me. If you think it could be something you could listen to, let me know. Give me this nice group of bikes. Something I want to do too one day. Just a little nice scoop ride. What are you doing? Ah. Using a signal lights like a boss. I like it. Like it, like it, like it. Oh yeah, and if you have any questions, uh, not about personal stuff, I'm really not sure yet how much about myself I'm going to share here. Um, in terms of, you know, maybe I'm going to share a little bit what I do. Uh, I, um, I'm not going to share anything personal. You guys already know my age. And that's probably going to be about it, you know, that I have a sister. And I want to keep it kind of private. So I will start and end the uh, vlogs uh, also well away from my home. Uh, you guys know I live in Switzerland. You guys know I live in St. Gallen. Or, well, you don't, now you do. Uh, under the weekend in Zurich, I'm not sure, maybe I could do like evening vlogs in Zurich, I haven't found any nice places to ride though, which is kind of annoying, uh, 
just less mountainous up there. So, um, I guess my last thing of my first motor vlog is going to be me passing this guy if it's conditions permitted. Still here in the city though. Can't really do that. Oh man, and he is definitely on a joyride. Oh my god. Don't go about 50 now. Don't want to go too fast. Yeah. Again, guys, sorry I didn't have any topic prepared except for a little intro. And it's been now, oh, I don't even know, is this an hour? Could have been an hour that I've been driving here, huh? So yeah, uh, I'm not gonna pass him here. He's gonna be pissed. Definitely gonna pass him though. Yep. Uh, you know now this is me like this is where I become like a little chicken I'm like ah oh, fuck it this guy is almost going 80 I might as well just stay behind him but then again I also know me at some point I'm going to be so annoyed I'm going to blow past him doing 130 oh come on no, I'm definitely going to pass both of them Jesus Christ okay Oh, yes. Yeah, well, what can we do, huh? I guess. Yeah, what did I say? I'm going to blow past them doing 120. And if anyone starts flaming like, Oh my God, you passed him while he was passing the bike. Please watch the video, I don't know how it looks like on the GoPro, but there was like enough space for him to pass the bike. Oh, and all the other shit too, like absolutely no problem. So, maybe, maybe, maybe we're gonna see another pass. Oh, this guy's actually hauling ass. Yeah, he's really hauling ass. No need for passing him. All right, guys, with this beautiful view. <laughs> oh, that was a fucking scooter driver going for a really cheeky guy. You don't get a biker wave as a scooter driver. The oh, fuck? Or maybe he was really nice telling me that there's a uh, switch up. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you really watched to this end, impressive. If you made it this far. No idea if I just spoke a whole hour for nothing. Uh, probably did. But uh, again, if you made it this far, thanks a lot for watching and um, stay tuned for more material on my channel. Thanks, guys.